Scottsbluff Public Schools will not be asking for more property tax revenue for the General and Building Fund for 2023-2024 than it did in the previous year. In fact, that amount will be going down by close to half a million dollars. Staff presented scenarios to the Board of Education Monday of what would happen with the property tax levy if they did or did not approve a resolution to exceed the revenue cap imposed by LB 243, which this year limited revenue growth to about 4.47%. The formula accounting for numerous revenue sources capped property tax asking at a little more than $17.1 million, and the board considered a resolution to exceed that amount by up to 5%, all of which would come from property taxes. Before the vote, board member Paul Snyder said he would be a no, as the resolution goes against the intent of the new funding law. The spirit was in part to transfer the cost of education to the state and take it away from local property taxpayers. I think the only way to assure that that happens in our instance is to not pass this resolution. Board members Beth Merrigan and Robert Polk, along with Board President Scott Rising, expressed support of the resolution. Rising said while failure of the resolution would limit budget options, he understood no one wants a tax increase. I definitely think that the, uh, the public has spoken and, and would like us to see us you know, uh, either reduce. I think, I think even keeping taxes uh, essentially revenue neutrals from last year with an increase of 9% in valuations is also quite a thing. Needing five votes, the resolution faltered on a 4-2 to two vote, with Mark Lang joining Snyder in opposition. The decision does not directly impact the property tax levy rates set to pay off the district school bonds.